Training Learning Objectives for Food Handler The training will address personal hygiene, contamination, and temperature control to reinforce the food handler's behaviors, which can prevent foodborne illness. Employee Illness Hand Washing No bare hand contact with ready-to-eat food Role of employee in helping prevent foodborne illness. Inadequate hand washing. Employees working while they are ill. Cross contamination. Inadequate cooking temperatures. Inadequate temperature control, allowing foods to be in the danger zone. Activities preventing foodborne illness include proper hand washing every time hands may have become contaminated. Food handlers working only when healthy. Storing and handling of foods in a manner to prevent contamination. Temperature control. The food handler will be able to identify time slash temperature control for safety slash potentially hazardous foods as food that will support bacteria growth when held at temperatures in the danger zone. The food handler will be able to identify the danger zone as any temperature between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 135 degrees Fahrenheit. The food handler will be able to identify that food being cooled or heated must move through the danger zone as rapidly as possible. Contamination and cross-contamination. The food handler will be able to define and identify physical contamination as foreign objects accidentally introduced into food. Food items may arrive already contaminated with dirt and pebbles. The food handler will be able to define and identify cross-contamination as happening when microorganisms are transferred from one food or surface to another food. The food handler will be able to identify methods to prevent cross-contamination such as washing, rinsing, and sanitizing utensils, work surfaces, and equipment between uses. To learn more download the app follow us on Facebook Instagram LinkedIn Twitter YouTube.